Welcome back everyone. So, Alex, who has made this video, has finally reacted to my issue free video, which was really nice. And to say a few things about that video, one, you, you kind of do look ridiculous with that haircut, I'm not gonna lie. You can tease me sometimes, I'm gonna tease you too sometimes. Um, actually, I don't remember if you ever have teased me, but you know what, I'm gonna do it, because I do that with my friends. Um, two, you did have some good criticisms, which is nice, I'm glad to get some feedback. Um, and three, uh, now that he's reacted to my video and this is out, I'm gonna react to this as well. And this time, I've got some candy with me, and a soda. Well, technically not soda, but you get the point. So, let's react to it, shall we? By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not wearing a shirt, and instead wearing a blanket, it's because it was very hot outside, and I became very sweaty, and I haven't taken a bath yet, so I'm gonna wear this instead. Some people may say that's very lazy, and you know what? You'd be right, and I don't care. So, let's do this. Oh, it's 4K, just noticed that. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. The Amazing Spider-Man, America's most exciting superhero, captured by the world's most dreaded supervillain. A book-length thriller, Spider-Man faces his most powerful foe. Again, Dr. I'm gonna Octopus. edit out the parts where I don't really react very much. to beat the mighty Dr. Octopus. Spider-Man versus the strangest foe of all time, Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus, the only enemy to ever defeat Spider-Man in this epic tale. Strangest foe of all time. Torch, fantasy. Yeah, great. that's not true. That's Story much stranger ones. Stan Lee, art by Steve Ditko, and letterer John Duffy. Place. Hold it, you guys. Uh, I think I heard something. Relax, Terry. And that's being that way. And Suddenly here we have white awesome area, I'm pretty sure. Crime fighting appears on the wall directly above the startled thieves. Mouse? You've never seen a mouse like this before. Look, it's... it's... Don't be shy, fella. You can say my name. It's Spar... Now that's some creative editing. <laughs> Get him. The <laughs> three of us. He can't take us all. Brother, you're living in a fool's paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Some big criminal mastermind. Minutes later. Look, Joe, Spider-Man's been here. And how? And not far away. It's almost too. I think that was our I've right run out of energy. Sure. You can give me any real opposition. Be careful what you wish for. And little does Spider-Man suspect that his frivolous wish is about to come true. For that yeah. moment. By the way, I haven't read this comic before, so I don't know what happens in it. Dr. Octopus, why do they call him that? My artificial arms permit me to work safely with volatile chemicals which are far too... Ah, oh yeah, I, I remember. That's Jacob... Um, Jacob Keen. I think it's N. Keen, if I remember correctly. Not even the projects of Dr. Octopus. It sounded... Nice explosion sound the like. Some candy stuff. I hope we've reached him in time. The X-ray showing uncertain amounts of brain damage. Oh, we have um, Lugamus Prime. You want to see me, Doctor Octopus? And there we got Luga again. Shut the door behind you. And there's some. Um, oh no! Take up again. You don't believe what you see, but it's true. I want pictures of the injured scientist, Doctor Octopus, but no one is allowed to enter the Bliss Private Hospital. And Spider-Man's just the cat. Editing's not bad. These Pretty good, actually, this time around. Will get me out the wall not that it was no bad time. in previous Please. episodes, but Great. it is an improvement. I can do almost anything. That he'd ever for. I will oh, admit, this man. editing does What's look kind of weird, but it's not no awful. To speak one, Dr. You can't keep all of us prisoners forever, Dr. Octopus, but don't walk you out. Luga mess again. All the equipment you wanted. When will you allow us go? Not until I'm ready. So the good thing yeah. is flipped his Jacob does actually give a pretty good performance from what I've seen so far. A little action. 
Not that I wasn't expecting it, but he's still pretty good. Dare speak to me of right? Dumb looking flappers of yours can move fast enough to catch Spider-Man, do you? Surprised? Dr. Octopus is Quite clearly, he could. By the way, I noticed the music is actually pretty good. go to your head, pal. I have a few more surprises. So my Oh yeah, I remember. I did this pet. He also has superhuman strength. Okay. My time is too valuable. <laughs> Superman was that right? When they made the comic? I'll admit, I'm really enjoying Jacob as um, as Optimus so far. Never had the chance. And that's what we call a hit to the a hit to the hit to the pride, a punch to the ego. I actually don't remember if I did any lines for this. I didn't check the cast as I wanted to go into this blind, so I really don't remember if I recorded any lines for this issue. The brains so maybe I'll be surprised to see myself in here. The giant machines are running mm. out of control. As though some I think they have to before kind of sound like they were talking There's through a telephone. The main vaults. The pipes are overheating. Nah. Exploding. It Not all of the actors here have um, fantastic uh, mic quality. And We've got to reach Dr. Octopus somehow. We can! Set up electronic barriers. The editing sure is a little weird. No, not at the editing is a little weird here, but not bad. The music is really good. I wonder who the editor is. Not editor. I wonder who the composer is. A brilliant scientist with superhuman powers on a mad rampage. If we can't stop him. Then we must see that innocent people are not injured. And so the order goes out. No one is allowed hmm. in or out of the atomic plant. Can't figure out. I know I have heard that actor before who played the general there, but I don't recall which one it is. Meanwhile, I think it's David Cook. I can't be sure. I think that was David Cook. But I could be wrong. I love those little you heard in the telephone. That's a nice little detail. Hmm, a little criticization of the um, sound design would be nice if you can try and make sure that um, the voices of the characters are louder than the music. Because at some points here I've noticed that the music seems to be louder. Oh yeah, I, I think I might add, have the one to add the voice effects to the Human Torch in this issue. I don't have to remember though. The writing is kind of cheesy, but again this was written back in... I think it was the 60s, so I'm willing to not criticize it. This was still written back in the 60s, and not a lot of comics from back then are well written from what I've noticed, especially not the dialogue. This is one easy way to get past those sentries below. Hey, did you just see someone fly above us? And there's Monty. Someone flying above us? Are you some kind of nut or something? So that's me, that's I me. I recognize that almost literally. That was me right there. I can to Dr. Octopus before he discovers me. It's Spider-Man again. Oh, that was a nice transition right there. He won't be so lucky. This time I'll finish him for Oh, there's someone on Discord. Hold on a second. I think the only criticism that I have with Jacob is that I feel he sounds a little too young for the role. But really, that's the only criticism I have. Uh, outside of that, he's really good in the role. And now this wiring will suit my purpose. I also think I was originally going to play the Doc Octopus in this, but I was too busy with our projects at the time, so someone else had to do it, and that obviously ended up being Jacob, who I actually think is better than what I would have done. What I would have done. Saves him from sudden defeat. We've been hearing noises. There we got Monty again. Like a fight. Someone must have sneaked past us and look yeah, over there. There I am again. Spider-Man. There he is. 
He's waving to us to come on. Careful, pal. No telling what's going on. You're telling me. I'm gonna shoot first and ask questions later. Look. Ah, that's Lucumus right so there. Up and, and that was me again. Get me out of this! The authorities will be able to handle that Arachnopus now. But I still nice have one there more again. thing to take care of. As Spider-Man. And it's later the next day the human Yeah, that was me. That was me who did those uh, voice effects. It's still Captain George that does the voice, but I did the voice effects for, um... And I don't know where he cut out to. Now there's my human torch. The human torch. So long, true believers. Excelsior. Ah, composed by Galloway. Okay. Yeah, there I was. Ah, Bradley Few was in there, and Arkham was, as I suspected. I was right, that was David Cook. Ah, Starkiller was in there too. Nice. But yeah, that wasn't half bad, that was pretty good. Uh, music was decent. <clears throat> and the voice acting was pretty good. I'll admit it. That was pretty good. I actually really enjoyed this. This was pretty good. Would I say it's better than the last one? Eh, I guess you could say that. I would just say it's somewhat equally good. But if I had to choose, I would say this probably is the best one so far. Uh, <laughs> I completely forgot I had recorded any actual lines for this episode. I couldn't entirely be sure about it, but yeah, I really enjoyed this, and I hope other people will check it out, because again, I had to edit out the parts where I didn't really give a reaction. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.